T-Shot is a standalone real-time rendering engine that makes it fast and easy to take raw CAD models and turn them into photorealistic images, animations and interactive visuals. That happens through a drag-and-drop based workflow where you can add pre-made materials, lighting settings and backgrounds to a scene with just a few mouse clicks. The changes that you make is visible to you right away, as everything happens in real time. Keyshot supports over 40 different file formats, so no matter what CAD or 3D application you are using, you should be covered. Keyshot is CPU based. This enables it to run on both Mac and PC and it runs on any laptop as well. There's no need for a high-end graphics card. This is what Keyshot looks like when you open it up. You'll see the welcome window that contains quick links to online tutorials, demo scenes, your recent projects once you have some, links to Keyshot on social media and to the Keyshot blog and the forum, which is a good place to get feedback on your work and to get help with any Keyshot related trouble you might run into. Hit the red X with the mouse or hit W on the keyboard to close down the welcome window. To show all relevant panels, change the workspaces drop down from startup to default. This will show you the panels and menus that you're probably going to use the most while working in Keyshot. In the center, you have the real time view. This is where you can see and navigate around your model once it's loaded in. And it's where you apply materials, lighting environments and backgrounds by dragging them from the library panel. The library panel on the left hand side contains pre-made materials, colors, lighting environments, textures and backplace that you can add to your model and scene. The favorite tab lets you create collections of your favorite assets for quick access. On the right hand side you have the project panel. It contains the scene tab that shows you the parts your model consists of along with basic information about your scene. It furthermore contains the material tab that lets you adjust any applied materials, the environment tab that lets you manage and adjust the applied HDRI lighting environment, the lighting tab that enables you to adjust how the light is being calculated, the camera tab where you can manage and adjust your cameras, and finally the image tab that lets you set the resolution and aspect ratio of your real-time view and lets you add basic adjustments of your scene, like adjusting the exposure and adding effects like bloom and vignette. In the top you have the ribbon that contains quick access to commonly used settings, tools and commands along with the option to pause the real-time view and to adjust the number of cores Keyshot is allowed to use. In the bottom you have the toolbar containing buttons to show and hide the library and project panels and buttons for opening up the animation timeline and XR dialog if you have the pro version of Keyshot and the XR plugin. The last button will bring up the render window that you'll use when you're ready to output your final rendering. The user interface is fully customizable. Panels and tabs can be moved and docked wherever you like or float freely. By right clicking an empty space in the ribbon and toolbar you can hide the text, change the size of the icons and even hide icons you never use. To save a layout, go to the workspaces drop down and select add. To revert to any saved layout, simply select it in the list. Keyshot is set up with a long row of shortcuts that enables you to work faster. To view a list of all the shortcuts, hit K on your keyboard. I would really recommend you to get as many of these into your muscle memory as possible as it will speed up your workflow significantly. With this quick introduction to the user interface of Keyshot, let's move on and import a model. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keyshot icon in the center of the screen.